to my channel or welcome back to my channel my name is Laura for those of you that do not know and today I'm going to be doing a March wrap-up of everything that I read during the month I actually did really well this month and I read six books which I think is more than I've read in a month in like years so I'm really proud of myself I read some really really great books and I think I discovered one of my new favorite authors because you'll see that a lot of the books I read are from her so that's super exciting uh, but yeah I'm just gonna get into it and share with you guys the books that I read I know we're like already into April so I'm a little bit late with this but we're just gonna ignore that and I'm gonna show you guys what I read during March okay the first book that I have is actually a reread that I've read a few times now and that is bad for you by Abby Glines you guys may or may not know Abby Glines is one of my favorites and her books are just so like easy I always say that they're like watching a movie and it's so true like I can just sit down and read one of her books and it feels like I just watched a film and it's amazing um this is one of my favorites from her Seabreeze series so I just often find myself rereading this book I absolutely love it this is a really really great series I think this is like book five or six or something in the series but you don't have to read them in order they're just all really cute contemporary romance books they're new adult and I really really like this series they're just like super quick and fun to read so so if you're looking for something like that and you like new adult I recommend checking out this series but this one is my favorite bad for you so I reread it I think I gave it four out of five stars and yeah it was just a really fun reread next book that I picked up in March is by your side by Casey West this book actually has a kind of funny story to it I was trying to leave my house to go do something because the cleaning ladies were coming and usually I don't really like to be home if they're here just because I always feel like I'm in the way so I was like I'll just go to Barnes and Noble and like look around and maybe get a book and go read at Starbucks for a while so that's what I did and I went to Barnes and Noble and I saw this and I was like okay like I might as well read it might as well pick it up it's only ten dollars I like Casey West so far I've read like two of her books so I just decided to randomly get this and I sat at Barnes and Noble for two hours read half came home finished it and I was like obsessed this book was so so good I gave it four out of five stars it was so cute this book follows a teenage girl who gets locked in a library and she's there and she realizes that she's not alone and there's this boy from her class that's also locked in the library and they have to survive the weekend together locked in the library during I think Memorial Day weekend or one of the weekends like a long weekend I forget but yeah really really cute quick read has OCD rep for any of you that are interested in that um, I thought this book was really well done it was super cute really fluffy and fun but that's like kind of my thing so I really really enjoyed this book and I would really recommend it but that's not where the Casey West obsession ends because I came home like I said and finished this book and I was like sitting there and I was like wow like that book was really good I wonder if I have any of Casey West's other books just in my room so I went ahead and found the distance between us which I had thought I read but I didn't apparently so I picked this up and I went to my babysitting job that I have on Wednesdays and uh, read the whole book just read the whole book while I was babysitting so this book was also really good gave it four out of five stars this one was about a girl who's also in high school and her and her mom live in this town that's kind of for rich people it's either like you live there because you like work or you live there because you're rich and like you go to all these fancy shops and places and her and her mom own like a doll shop and they work there and they live upstairs in the apartment and the main character meets this boy who comes in to pick up dolls for like his grandma or something and they kind of get this connection and it's like crazy because she like comes from nothing and he's really rich and fancy her mom's like warning her against this boy but you know she obviously like can't help how she feels <laughs> it's really cute like honestly this is the kind of book that I would have loved if I was in high school but reading it now like I'm still into it like I love cute high school romancy contemporary books they're just like my fave which is why I've been binging Casey West um, but this one again four to five stars I really did enjoy it as well read both of these in the same day so that was great next day I decided that I should probably finish a book that I had started in the month prior and that was finders keepers by Nicole Williams you guys may know if you watched my January wrap-up which by the way I didn't do a February wrap-up because I didn't read anything in February and then I just all of a sudden read all of these in March um, so in January 
yesterday I was reading this series, the Lost and Found series by Nicole Williams, loving it. This was the third book, third, yeah, third book I had started reading in January and finished in March, and I think I gave it, again, four out of five stars. This just continues with two other characters in the series, so I don't want to go into a synopsis for it because it kind of spoils things, um, but I did really like it, and I'm going to continue the series at some point. I just don't know when because I've kind of been on this Casey West binge, so maybe once I finish all of her books, I will finish this series. But yeah, I did finish this book. So in comes the part where Laura realizes that she actually owns a few other Casey West books and she picks up P.S. I Love You. Uh, this book I got in like an owl crate box I think a while ago and I had started reading it at one point and I read like a chapter. I was in a really bad reading slump at that point and I just read a chapter and put it down and never finished it. So I decided while I was on a roll with my reading that month uh, to pick this one up and I actually ended up really really loving it again four to five stars this one is about a girl who is obsessed with music and one day she's like writing lyrics on her desk and then like the next day she comes to school and somebody like finished the lyrics so she starts like passing notes with this person and it's like a boy in her grade and uh they kind of start like flirting over like letters that they tape under the desk and talking every day and she's like becoming consumed by this but she doesn't know who it is and maybe she finds out like it's really really cute I enjoyed it um four out of five stars again I don't know if I said that already I probably did but yeah really really like this one as well okay and then the last book that I read in March you're probably not going to expect like you might be a little shocked but it's Lucky in Love by Casey West <laughs> wow I read another Casey West book um this one I have to say out of all of them was my least favorite but I still did like it maybe like 3.5 stars out of five maybe four ish I don't know I liked it a little bit less because I didn't like the main character as much um this book follows a girl who wins the lottery her whole life has been dedicated to studying super hard so she can get into her dream school and live her dream life and she doesn't talk to boys she doesn't focus on boys it's just her and her two best friends and they're really smart and they just work towards you know getting to college and it's her senior year of high school she wins the lottery by chance on her 18th birthday and now it seems like all of her issues have been solved and then there's this boy that she works with at the zoo and she doesn't want him to know that she won the lottery because everyone starts treating her different at school and she doesn't want him to treat her differently um i thought this book was okay it was kind of fun but the main character like i was saying before was just kind of eh to me she was kind of boring the other books that i read by casey this month i enjoyed those main characters more than i did this one i don't know she was just kind of boring to me and the book sort of dragged on a bit but i did enjoy it regardless and i finished it in the month of March, so there's that one as well. So in case you're wondering, I've now read almost every single one of Casey West's books. I haven't read Pivot Point or Split Second, which is this like duology series that's not contemporary, so I think I have the first book. Maybe I'll read it someday, I don't know. And then um, I'm currently reading her latest release, I forget what it's called to be quite honest, but I'm currently reading that one and she has a new book coming out in a few months. So I'll be stocked on her. I'm like kind of obsessed with her writing. It's so like fun. It reminds me of like Sarah Dessen or somebody like that. So if you're into that, definitely check out her books. They're super fun for like summer. I feel like you could bring them to the beach and it would be like a nice beach read. So if you're interested in something like that, I definitely recommend checking her out. As you can see, I kind of became obsessed with her this month and it's really easy to just fly through her books. So recommend those to you guys. But other than that, that is everything that I read in the month of March. Again, I didn't read anything in February, but I'm already reading in the month of April right now. So expect one of these videos at the end of this month as well. Um, but other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any video requests that you want to see me do, definitely let me know in a comment down below. I would love to hear from you guys. But other than that, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll talk to you in the next video. Bye! You are crazy